Okay, so this is the uh, first boot up here. There's probably going to make us like take an update, but you know, uh, AFTV News actually has a article showing you how to get around those updates where you don't have to actually get you know like apply them. So I will link to that in the description if you don't want to apply it. So insufficient power. Please use the encoded USB cable. Okay, so we do need to use the cable that they provided because the TV port is not giving us enough power. That's unfortunate, but we do what we got to do. All right, so this is the first boot up. Again, you can skip this, the update that's going to happen if there's one available. Uh, I'll link to that in the description of this video so you can skip that update if you ever want to have root. So we need to press the button. It found it. So let's see. Awesome. This does support 5 gigahertz. So not just 2.4, but 5. That's very nice. Uh, so now we need to put in the password for our thing. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so after you put in your password, you just go ahead and hit the connect button. It's going to connect to our Asus RTAC68U. Connection successful. Checking for updates. There's probably going to be one available. I'm going to go ahead and accept it because my Nexus player and my Fire TV are both rooted. So I don't, you know, root's awesome, but I, this isn't a device that I'm going to be like, hey, I absolutely have to have root. <laughs> okay, so checking. Successfully registered. Uh, continue as Josh. Very cool. How did it know that? That's pretty neat. Hello. And welcome to your okay, so you're going to see this Fire boring, TV. long screen you're about setting up you your thing. So we're going to go ahead and skip this. Before we get started, just a quick reminder on setup. So basically what I got from that was this will actually let you play games and the Fire TV controller that I bought for my Fire TV, the game controller, it'll work on here as well. So that's really cool. Uh, no parental controls. I'm going to go ahead and enable parental controls just so like in-app purchases are not like accidentally purchased. So I have mine set to really easy. <laughs> Pretty freaking simple there. All right, here's the home screen. So just like on the Fire TV, but it's on here. So we'll go to uh, System, and then About, and there you go. It says, wow, this, they give you freaking five gigs of storage? That's pretty impressive. I, I'm definitely impressed. That's a nice little amount there for such a small little tiny thing. And you can also see the software version that we are on at the moment. Okay, it says there is an update available. Let's go ahead and install this real quick. All right, the update is done. Let's go ahead and let this boot up. It's actually going to be a nice, in a way, to actually let it update and not worry about, you know, like, <laughs> blocking updates, period. This will have the very latest stuff while my Fire TV is on whatever latest custom ROM's out. So... I install custom ROMs on my Fire TV because I have the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is like 60514A or something like that. I might have the numbers a little bit mixed up there, but I got the latest recovery on it. have it on the latest custom ROM. AFTV News, man. Their website's amazing. They have all the custom ROMs, the latest recovery, custom recovery, ROMs, tutorials. AFTV News, man. I, I, whenever I start up Firefox, it's one of the tabs that automatically loads so I can see the latest stuff that they have. So just uh, top apps and games, let's go and see what's available real quick. So you got the YouTube app, you've got Solitaire, you've got all the normal stuff, you got Beach Buggy Racing, Netflix, Twitch, 2B TV, the f good old Flappy Bird, <laughs> Plex, never used it but heard good things about it. Showtime, man, I missed Dexter. Dexter was the only reason I paid for Showtime. Now I don't pay for Showtime because, you know, whatever. All cast, Couch makes that. You can view stuff on your Amazon Fire TV, Fire TV Stick, whatever. 
You Don't Know Jack. I remember playing that, the little machine thing, little toy when I was a kid growing up. You got Sonic the Hedgehog. Top. That's actually a fun game right there. Man, tons of stuff on here. Absolutely ton, tons. Cams on TV. Just a lot of things. <laughs> so let's see what, what it's on now. Then we'll go ahead and end this so it's not too long. All right, so system about. And now you can see that we are on 54.1.0.2. And then you can go ahead and read the rest there. So December 18th. If there's an update available, you'll see a little thing here on the controller. It'll say like to press the a certain button. And under the developer options, we can go ahead and turn that on. Okay. So now we can install apps that are unknown. Of course, without ES File Explorer or Chrome, I don't know how you're going to get the apps on here anyway without sideloading them, which is definitely possible. And I think it's under controllers that you're going to see the, the Amazon Fire TV remotes. And then this one, yeah, right here is where you'll see like a button. It'll say update the remote. And if you're a remote as an update, and then you can go ahead and add the Amazon Fire TV game controller or other controllers. I'm pretty sure even the MOGA controller would work with that. Under display, you can see screen saver, auto. So let's see what all options there are. 1080p 60 hertz, 1080p 50 hertz, 720p 60 hertz. Very nice. Enable display mirroring, second screen notifications, and that's about it. I mean, it's a cheaper version of the Fire TV. It's literally got half the specs that the Fire TV has. You know, it's up to you. If you're just going to be using this for Netflix, watching videos, you know, watching Twitch, <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff, then yeah, I, I could totally see spending $40 on something like this. Oh, and also, if your Fire TV needs to be restarted, hold down the center OK button and the play button for about seven seconds, and it's going to pop up and say, your thing's going to be powering off. Now it's going to power off and restart. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that red subscribe button. We've got many more videos coming in the future. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay in the know, know what videos I'm working on, what devices I'm getting, if you want to stay in touch with me, like tweet me, if you want to find out what my PlayStation and Xbox names are, they're in my Twitter bio. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.